Hi everyone, it's December 28th, which means Christmas is now behind us. And a lot of friends and family I know um, like to take the Christmas tree down right after the holiday passes. But in our house, we like to leave the Christmas tree up all year, meaning that throughout the year, we change the theme based on either the season or the holiday. So with Valentine's Day being the next holiday coming up, we chose to transition our tree to a Valentine's tree. And we also wanted to make our own um, ornaments. We're all about making um, things in our house that we've created ourselves. So today we're gonna make glitter ornaments with sayings you would find on the old fashioned candy conversation hearts. But here's an example of one we've already completed. It is a plastic disc shaped ornament that we filled with um, a pastel pink color and added the words true love and topped it with a ribbon. So this one is ready to hang on the tree now. So to make this, we're going to set that one aside. We're going to grab our clear plastic disc ornament. We have tile floors. We also have pets. Um, so we want to be careful on the tile if nothing breaking. And so along with the clear plastic ornament, we're also going to either need um, polycrylic, which you can use, or you can use the beacon glitterate. Um, in our case, we're going to use the beacon glitterate. You're going to need your pastel um, glitter, and you're going to need to have already cut out your um, images or your, um, in our case, words. To get started, we're going to take a plastic disc shaped um, ornament and we're going to pop off the top and set that aside. And then we're going to take the um, beacon glitterate and we're going to add a generous amount to the inside of our ornament. Don't worry about having too much. It's better to have too much than too little. And we're going to just gently swish this around to make sure that we cover all sides of the ornament. Just swish, swish, swish. Make sure it's all nice and covered. Take a Dixie cup for the excess. And as we're swishing around to make sure we've got it, you also want to make sure that you've got all the way towards the rim, not necessarily on the head. And we're going to just let that drain out for a minute. All right, now that your ornament has had a second to drain, you can actually pour the excess back into the glitter glitterate bottle. And then we're going to take our, um, we're going to use our light pastel blue color and pull that top off. And we don't have one of those little tiny craft funnels, so we're just going to use a piece of printer paper and we're going to make a funnel. And we're going to make a funnel just like that, stick that in there, and then we are going to add our glitter. And we're going to add a generous amount of the glitter too, as a matter of fact, we're going to add all of it because there's not that much in that bottle. Once we have that in there, we will set this aside for a minute. We'll just set it aside. And we're going to turn our ornament. Look at that. Look at the pretty colors. And we're going to turn our ornament so that we cover all of the inside of it. Just like that. And pouring the excess out. We're going to use this paper towel so we can pour it right back into the, uh, in the glitter bottle. So we're going to tap out the excess. And notice the neck of this didn't get the um, glitter to stay because the um, glitter didn't sit on there. And so we're just going to put our cap back on. And you will see that when we put our cap back on, you cannot see that the neck of the disc ornament doesn't have glitter on it. And that's it, that's all there is to it. All right, so next we're gonna take our ornament and we are going to use some um, rubbing alcohol and wipe the side of the ornament that we are going to put our vinyl image or letters on. Let that dry for a second. And we're going to take our vinyl and in this case, we'll go ahead and do the, um, let's just do hug me. So we're going to do the hugging by putting our transfer tape over our words that we want to use and then gently peeling up, making sure that the letters are sticking to the transfer tape. All right, so there you have it. All right, so then we're going to take our nicely cleaned and dried ornament and we're going to position the letters where we'd like them to sit, roughly about there. 
from the center, we're going to gently press, press outwards, keep those letters to stick. And then we will remove the transfer tape. We're gently going to remove the transfer tape. And you can then see that we have our letters stuck to our ornament. Now, it's kind of a plain looking ornament to me, so we're going to go ahead and grab some hearts that we printed on vinyl as well. Whoops, got to get them to stick good too. And we're just going to place these hearts randomly around our ornament. I'm going to jazz it up a little bit. And we can do some more just to make it look really pretty. And we can do some here. And maybe we even want to stick a couple up here. And there you have it. There is your glitter ornament that says hug me. And then you simply take your ribbon like this and you tie it around the neck of the ornament. And when you're done, you have another ornament to add to your tree for Valentine's Day. I like to use these S shape hooks to hang my ornament on my tree. And there you have it. Thanks everybody.